There we are. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Saturday Craft with me. Let me get the welcomes out of the way here, and we'll be. Okay, there's our welcomes. Now, so tonight, what are we doing for our live? Tonight, we are going to make some pretty flowers. I was watching a video the other day and watched a lady make some of these. Now, hers were obviously a bit different. I've added a few things that, and she had different punches. So, but here's what we're going to make is this little flower here. Well, not this exact one, but ones like this. And it's cardstock vellum, a gem, and glitter glue. You can make them any color you want, probably any size you want as well. I just don't happen to have a ton of punches. I'll show you the ones I'm using. Here's the one with the button center. So you get the idea. And obviously there's a few different ones there. Let me go ahead and clean those up and we'll go ahead and get started on how to make these and how you do the layering. And then how, of course, I do the glitter. So. so let me see here. Get these off the table. And I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background, but my daughter finally got her PS3 controllers so that she could play her PS3 games again, and she's have to bear with it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our punches first, and usually you punch out, well, okay, so I'm using, here's the punches I'm using. You don't have to use these exact ones. You probably have better ones. This is a two-inch flower, and you punch two of these of cardstock and two of these of your vellum or your faux vellum, whichever you have on hand. Then you take your smaller flower, again, two of cardstock, two of your vellum, two that look like this that you can kind of see through. And here we go again with an unstable connection. It says. And I know my connection is stable because I posted a video earlier, so YouTube is just being boogery. Okay, so, so like I said, you have four, four small ones in total, and then you're going to need your hot glue because that's where you're going to go to next. So you take one of your cardstock, bop, that's your bottom. One of your vellum big ones, grab your gluey gun, and do be careful because hot glue is evidently hot. Put a pretty good, decent amount on there. And then you kind of line this so that your petals are in between the other petals. Then you pick up your next cardstock one. Again, you put your hot glue on. You put it down, kind of try to line it up a little bit so that your petals are different. Okay, pick up your last big vellum one. Hot glue. Pop it into place here. All right. Then when you get a hold of it, you can check for any kind of strings. If you have any, obviously, you want to get those removed to the best you can. Then you just hold the center of your flower like that with your thumb and your finger there, and you lightly bend up the outside petals. You don't want to crush these. You just lightly bend them lightly. Then you have like a little cup design with it. Now you take another of the small, you take your first small one, and of course card stock on the bottom usually. Take your vellum, pop it together again. Grab your next card stock small one. Some glue on it. Pop it in there. Grab your next small vellum one, which should be your point. Pop on the glue and pop this down into place. Ha! Ah. And hot glue is hot, like I said. So, okay, then of course, again, do the string thing. See. You know, if you have any, some people may not. 
and I'm just trying to get the hot glue off my fingers so that it's not sticking there when I try to work with this. Get any other strings off of it. Now you pull your, turn this to the back side. You're going to put hot glue on the back of it on your small flower piece. And then you pop it in the center here and hold it down till it glues down. Okay, there we go. And you can adjust your flower petals at this point if you want or need. And you may find some extra glue strings. Just take them off and then you can get your gem. Whatever color, kind, size, button, whatever that you want to use for your center. And make sure you get glue on it. Pop it right in there in the center, hopefully. We got that glued down. And since I'm making two of the same ones at a time, pretty much, uh, or similar, not exact, I'm going to sit this guy aside for a minute. We'll go and put this next one together, and then I'll show you how to glitter these. Again, hard stuck on the bottom, hot glue on your vellum piece, and press it into place, staggering the petals. All right. Pick up your next hot or your next uh, card stock piece. Put some hot glue on the back. Again, try to stagger your petals a bit. Okay, go to your last big piece and it should be vellum. Again, hot glue the back. Place staggered in place on top of your others. And hold down till it glues in place. All right, pick your flower up, check for any glue strings. And then you're gonna take them Put your thumb in the center and your, I believe that's index finger in the center in the back. And you're going to gently push the petals outside toward the center here. Just. There you go. Then you're going to work with your small flower. And card stuck on the bottom. First vellum piece on top with the petals staggered. I heard you. Take your other cardstock piece, your small one, glue it and stagger it down onto your little flower. All right, now pick up your last small vellum one and you're gonna have to put some hot glue on it as well. And then again, stagger again. All right, pick it up, look for any hot glue straggler strings. Go ahead and Get them off there as you can. Bring your cupped flower back. Put hot glue on the back. Four piece small flower. Then press it into place. All right, now we get a gem. We're gonna put our gem in the center. All right, now that it's in the center, we can sit this here a minute, move our glue gun. And now here's where the messy part begins. I mean, not like hot glue isn't messy, but this is the really messy part. 
So you might want to get a rag, a baby wipe, something like that for your fingers. Have it on hand. I'm going to put mine right there. Now we're going to grab our glitter glue. And you can use whatever color you want that you think works with your flower. I have, this doesn't have a color, I guess, but it's a like crystal clear kind of color. Um, and what we're going to do, and here's why I say you get messy, you squirt this out instead of onto the flower, you squirt it out onto your hand, onto your finger here, however much you want to use. Then you pick up your flower holding on to the center where the gem is, and you slowly begin to use your finger to spread that glitter glue out over your petals and your centerpiece. And you may have to add more glitter glue depending on how much or how little you put on your finger. I usually have to add because I don't always put enough. And you just glitter, glitter, glitter. And this is how we get our sparkle and our shine. There you go. There's how it goes. And you can even put some over your gem if you want to. This one's still wet, but I'm going to try to give you a preview of it here. See? Really pretty. And once they dry, they are gorgeous. They really are. They are just stunning. And they're great to use on projects, and they don't really, you know, take a lot of um, supplies to make. So they're kind of fun, and they can, you know, you can make a few in an evening. I think I made like nine or something yesterday, just goofing around, seeing, you know, how everything worked. Again, you know, don't be afraid to get a little bit more glitter glue if you need to, to go around. You don't want to get stingy with it. I'm definitely trying to make sure I get some glitter on each of the petals and all around them. And then when you're done, you just sit it off to the side and let it dry. I would, I let mine dry usually 24 hours. Uh, that's just me. Because I like to make sure everything's good and dry before I go messing with it or putting it anywhere. And of course, then at the end, when you're done, you have the glitter on your flowers, you can then clean off your hands, which is why I say grab a little wet wipe or tissue or something to kind of clean your hands off before you move to your next set of flowers because you don't know if you're going to use the same um, kind of glitter, same color. So that being said, let's go ahead and do a couple more here. These ones are obviously a different color. I went with some purple here. And the reason I'm calling it faux vellum is because this was actually scrapbook paper that I turned into vellum. So... That's why faux vellum. Now, let's go ahead and get our glue gun back over here. We're going to start with the cardstock on the bottom again. Hot glue on the back of our first big piece of vellum. Place them staggered and press to hold. Grab your next piece of cardstock. Glue, place down staggered, and hold. Okay. Your last big piece of vellum for the big flowers. Again, glue, and then stagger, and hold. Okay, at the end, of course, I'll always check for your glue strings. Carefully, thumb in the center, index finger on the back, bend your petals gently. You want to make it like almost a, a barely there cup kind of deal. You don't want it to look like a bowl, just kind of cupped. All right, then we'll move to our smaller set of flowers here. And Start again with your solid cardstock on the bottom. 
Vellum goes on the top layer next. Hold it in place, making sure you stagger the pedals. Then pick up your next cardstock piece. And again, stagger it. Okay. And then you go to your last piece, which should be a vellum piece. And obviously put the hot glue on it. Pop it down, staggered. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, it is. Woohoo! Oh, hold it in place till it uh, sticks together there. Then you can pick it up, check for any glue strings or hot glue that might be. You don't want it. Go ahead and get all those off there. Bring back your cupped big flower. Take your small flower, turn it to its back. Glue the small flower. Then pop it into the center of your big cupped flower. And hold till it glues to it. All right, there we are. So that's how it looks so far. Now we're getting ready to put our gem in the center here. Alrighty. Uh oh, stuck to my finger there for a minute. All right. Now, without the glitter, here's how it looks. I'm going to set it aside because I'm going to glitter both these at the same time. All right. We're going to bring out our next one. Again, cardstock on the bottom. Grab out another piece of your vellum one, glue, and stagger while holding in place, of course. Grab your cardstock piece. This should be your last big cardstock piece. Glue, and stagger. All right, then you pull up your last vellum piece for your big flower, glue it, place it down and stagger. All right, check for glue strings, thumb and the, and the index finger in the center and gently press petals up. Like I said, you don't want to make it look too tall, but you want to have it look a little cupped. Grab your four small ones, cardstock on the bottom, vellum, take your vellum and stagger it on the cardstock, and then hold down. Grab your last small cardstock one. Hot glue it and stagger it on top of the vellum piece you just laid. All right. Grab your last small vellum piece. Bring it over. Hot glue it. Stagger it on top of the cardstock piece you laid. Okay. Go ahead and look for any kind of glue strings, bubbles, anything like that. Now you bring your cupped flower back, take your little flower, turn it to the back, hot glue, pop it in the center, and hold it down until it glues in place. All right, there you go. Again, there's how it looks without the gem and just plain. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our gem. Pop it in the center here. 
And even though these are sticky gems, the free stuff ones, I still put blue on them. Just as a, I guess, precaution. Okay. Then you can always look, see if there's any, like, any hot glue around the gem or anything that you don't want. Get it out of there. All right. There's that. Let's move this now so you can... And we've got to move this again. Now, instead of using the clear on this, I actually have purple glitter. So that's what I'm going to use this time. So we'll open it up. Go ahead and get our tissue thing so that we can make sure that we clean our hands up, maybe, if I can get just one. All righty, load it off there. And here we go. Pick this flower here. And like I said, the amount you put on your finger of your glitter glue is totally up to you. Um, just, you don't want to overcoat them. You just want to give them some shine, I guess, and kind of cover the outside petals as well as the center. Sometimes I get a little heavy handed with the glitter. So just a little note, you know, if you're not a glitter monger like I am, you know, to go a little lighter handed. I don't mind glitter though. I think it makes things pretty, so. Okay. I knew I had some extra over there, yeah. So we'll just pop that extra over there. Now, before I try to show that to you, I think I'll clean up my hand a little bit, at least a little bit. So my hand is like really goopy from the glitter. And then how? <laughs> anyway. Here's this one that we just did with the glitter on it. And again, like I said, I would let it dry at least 24 hours. Let's do our other flower here now. But as you can see, yes, if you do put the glitter on them like I'm doing it, you do get rather messy. Oopsie daisy. Popped a petal up there. All righty. But I think these flowers turn out really cute and they look beautiful on projects. Here's our one we just finished now. We're gonna put it over here to dry. Let me clean my hands up a bit here. Like I said, you don't wanna have purple glitter on your hands if that's not what the color of the flower you're doing next is. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day where you are. We had a pretty decent day today. Um, got to go out and go to the thrift store, check out some new places that have come into the town we live in, some little eateries and stuff. Uh, we actually stopped at one of our favorite, well, the only favorite comic book store in town. Um, they were open, so we stopped in and seen what they had. We had, you know, just, just a nice walk out for a little bit this morning, uh, right before litter. Uh, we made it back in the house and in the door just in time. So that was kind of neat, though. Got some fun stuff. We put a uh, put a haul up there so that folks could see. The only thing not shown was my daughter's goodies because she got a few little statuette type things to put in her bedroom. Smurf and a dog and oh, the other one was a Beanie Baby pug. So. Uh, again, a little warning, be careful with the hot glue. I'm feeling it on my one finger here, so 
I can tell that I got my finger in it a little too much. So do be careful when you're gluing. These things burn. But the flowers are beautiful. You can put them in scrapbooks. You can put them on your cards. You could put them on boxes you're giving to friends or wrapped gifts. You know, you can use them in junk journals. It, there's no limit to what you can do with them. Please excuse me a minute. Throat's getting a little dry. Oh, okay. And literally all I did, I guess I'll cut out a couple more here to show. Uh, since we have a little bit of time here. Maybe, ooh, maybe I can do this. Let me see, let me see. What do I got a lot of over there? Mm. Let's go with some more orange. Why not? Orange never hurt nobody. So let's go with some orange. If I can get to it. My papers don't want to come to me here. All right, so this is just orange cardstock, and it's like muckledy done because that's how I ended up getting it. Um, my hubby got this for me, and I love it. I like the fact that it's muckledy done. Oh, geez, excuse my fingers here. It's lit on the case cover here. All you're going to do is take this, take your biggest punch. Probably use two hands if you're like me. Two. Since I'm making two each, I'll have to be punching four. Three. Come on. Come on, wiggle. Four. All right. Then you would move this one aside a minute, grab your small punch. Hello, Carissa. How are you? Oh, well, cheerleading ceremony. That sounds fun. We didn't have cheerleaders here. Our, well, for one, they don't let guys do cheerleading here, which I think is kind of yank. Um, so my son might have if, if they did let him. Um, and my daughter just never really got into it. So we didn't push it. Plus, it, around here... It's really weird, like, it, I don't know. The, the girls seem kind of mean that they pick. Not very friendly. And my daughter just brought up a point is the skirts for the cheerleaders here are short. Very short. <laughs> so. Okay. Sure. Now, let me see how I'm going to cut this. Okay, maybe like that. So this is my faux vellum. And again, like I said, we're just doing their flowers here. So since I'm making two, I need four of this big flower if I can get my vellum to work with me. So there's one. Please don't stick. Thank you. Okay. Whew. My punch likes to get stuck on the paper. Why? I don't know, because it does. Come on. There's two. Come on, don't stick. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Thank you. I got to cut this down so I can get my next punch out of that. Ah, wait a minute. Before I do that, I can get a small punch out of this. So, there's a small punch to go with this set. Okay, make sure what side it's on there. Second year, oh wow. Well, if you're good at something and you enjoy it, you know, more power to you. It's like crafting. If you're good at it and you enjoy it, do it. Seriously. Okay, there's a big one there. Please wiggle, thank you. And come on, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. No, 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 no. Don't get stuck. I said wiggle. Thank you. All right. This guy over here again. And I need three more little ones. Okay. I should be able to pull that off. Okay. 
Okay. Ah. Well, that finished that piece. Jeez. All right. But we now have enough to make these two flowers, so that's cool. Let me get this glue strand out of there. I'm not sure. So I'll show you what we're making. Um, they're little flowers, and you can put them on all kinds of, you know, I should probably pick a drier one. Dear. You can put them on all kinds of things, and you just use uh, cardstock, scrapbook paper, and vellum or faux vellum, depending on what you have, and here's what they look like. And I also put some glitter glue on mine to give them just a bit of sparkle. And obviously you can make them in any color. You can make them in a ton of different sizes. I'm just using the punches that I have the sizes of. What you do is you cut two cardstock ones of the big, excuse me, and two vellum pieces of the big. Then you cut two cardstock small and two cardstock vellum small. And then you start putting them together which is what I'm getting ready to do here with these. So you start with your cardstock on the bottom. Let me bring this down a bit so we can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Cardstock on the bottom, get your glue gun up because that's the best way to handle these. Put a dabble of hot glue on the back of your vellum piece. And then you want to stagger your petals when you lay it down and then glue it. And then you're going to get your next cardstock piece, which should be your last big one. Put some glue on there. And stagger it when you lay it down. So basically what you keep doing as you're laying your fours, you stagger each time. I use glitter glue. I'll show you how I do that here in just a minute because I have my glue and everything out where I was making some a minute ago too. Trying to show folks. Um, but these aren't hard. The only problem is they're a slight bit time consuming and very hot from hot glue. <laughs> I've burnt my fingers twice already. So, <laughs> um, okay, pick them up once you get to this point, once you got all four of them glued together, look for any glue strings or anything hanging from it. So it looks, you know, not so quite good. You're gonna put your thumb in the center on the front, index finger in the center on the back. You're gonna gently bend your petals up just the petals because you don't want to tear the tar out of your flower you just made all you want to do is give it a slight cupped look like this not completely squished together set that piece aside go get your four small pieces again you start on the bottom with a card stock and these are so small you actually might be able to see them you glue down your first small vellum piece Again, staggering it. Go back, get your last cardstock piece. Hot glue on it, stagger it. Your last vellum piece, put some hot glue on it. Stagger it. Now pick it up, same thing, doodads. And then you bring your cupped piece back in, turn your four piece small flower over, hot glue the back, and carefully make sure that you get it in the center of your large flower where that cup is. All right, so here's what it looks like so far. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna get our little center gem here. And you can use colored, you can use uncolored, you can use square, round, diamond, hearts. It really doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to use. Even though these are pre-stickied, I still put hot glue on them. Otherwise, sometimes they have a tendency to pop off. What's he got? Or was that you? No, he's got something. All right. 
about to put him in his cage. Yeah, I think he needs to go for tonight. He's he's just being bad at the moment. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this next one together, and then when I do the gil when I do the glittering, we can get them all glittered together here. All right, so we got cardstock down, vellum piece down, another cardstock piece. All right, and then your last vellum piece here for the big pieces. And again, you know, stagger this if you, as much as you can. All right. Check for your glue strings or anything that you might need to get off of it. Fingers in the center. Then the edge in. Okay, small card stuck on the bottom, vellum piece, staggered. Next card stock piece, next vellum piece, which is your last. And that one has a string because it was on my finger. Hello, Pix. How are you? Now that I've got glue all over my finger here. And my shirt, probably. All right. Now, power. Glue the back. And pop it into the cupped part of our larger flower. Doing good today, I think. Now we're going to get our gem. We're going to gem the center. Again, trying not to burn ourselves. Ooh. Everything wants to stick to that one finger today. And I don't know why, but that's just how it seems to go. All right, here's what we have thus far until we put our glitter on it. Let me move this guy out of the way because I don't need any burns. Bring these guys back in the frame. I don't have orange glitter, so we're going to use the clear again. And again, when you get your clear glitter to work with you, Mm, squirt this thing out onto your finger. And then you gently and carefully take your glitter glue, and put it around the edge, like so, of your flower. You want to get all the outside edge petals covered, and you want to get your inside petals from the small flower covered. And it doesn't matter if you have to use, you know, quite a bit of glitter glue. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Just keep working around, making sure you cover it nice so you get that sparkle because you don't want to have it partly sparkling and partly plain. And there you go, make sure you get that center. And then you have this. Let me put that one there. All right, well, I've got one more here to do. Hopefully I can get enough glitter out of my glitter glue bottle here to do this one. Oh boy, I'm squeezing that thing. All right, let's see. There we go, yes. Oh, so pretty. And these little flowers can be used on a multitude of projects. 
And to think all it is is just a little bit of cardstock, a little bit of vellum, a gem, hot glue, and glitter glue. Quite literally, that's the whole shebang of it. And it makes something so pretty that it looks like you paid a fortune for it. Oh boy, hold on here, my fingers. Come on now, don't start twitching. There we go. And there's the next one that we did. And like I said, with this kind of project, it's probably good to keep baby wipes or something of that ilk around so you can clean your hand off after the fact. Well, if I can get a hold of this one. There we go. That time I didn't get quite as bad, not with like I did with a purple one. So, ooh, that finger is really hurting now. I'm gonna have to find my finger caught again and start wearing it when I'm doing that. Ugh. All right. But to show you some different ones other than the ones that we were making here, there is, oh, geez, I don't mess them all up here. Here's a pinkish one that I did earlier. And it's got the glitter glue on it too. Here's a blue one. And instead of using clear glitter, this one I use some blue glitter. And then let me get down here and pray that I don't jaggle this guy up. Here's one that I did in greens and I used green glitter on. And like I said, I leave them dry 24 hours before I go trying to mess with them in any way. So quite honestly, a little bit time consuming in that manner and a fact in the fact that if you don't have vellum and you want to do the faux vellum that takes a little bit of time as well um it doesn't you know just you can't just make it and then go into using it really at least i don't thank you pics i actually enjoyed them um i saw a lady make them and hers were very different than mine because she had proper sized flowers and stuff where i don't i'm using what i have um, and she didn't put glitter on hers, so I did kind of alter that a bit because I'm a glitter fanatic. <laughs> Anybody who knows me or has crafted with me at all knows. Pardon me a moment while I get a sip. But yeah, um, and I'm sure if you had the different size flowers or even different shaped flowers, you could do this, and I've seen people do it with the little teeny tiny ones like this, where they use this as their big base, and then they find a smaller flower and go down way small with them. And they're cute, too. I just didn't happen to have all that different stuff. Um, so, and I think the next thing I'm going to try is, and I just got them today, is I think I'm going to try doing this with butterflies. I think I'm going to try doing like a, a vellum butterfly piece and then a cardstock piece and, and putting them together and seeing how they work. I won't do that tonight because I don't have my machine out ready to go, but I definitely want to try it. I think it would be worthwhile. And if it works, well, then, hey, if it doesn't, well, all amounts of paper. <laughs> so, and maybe a burnt finger because, ooh, geez. Dip that thing in ice. But I think they're cute. And like I said, you can make them out of, out of any color. And you could make your vellum pretty much any color, I guess. As long as you have thin enough paper that the oil and the paper react to each other. Um, and you wouldn't have to glitter these if you didn't want to. You could leave them plain. Um... It's literally a person's personal choice. You could use colored gems in the center. You could use buttons in the center. Uh, there's all kinds of variations you could make of them. I just literally grabbed stuff and went to work tonight to try to get some made so that they could be, you know, there to show for the live here. And I wanted to make some on the live. 
So definitely, definitely cute little project. And you can make, well, tonight, let me see. I've only been in here since, and I didn't start these right away because I did a video before this. So I've made two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13. I've made 15 in probably under an hour. So that's not bad. I mean, considering the fact that I literally sat and punched them all out and everything all today. So, and that was on top of us going out and having some time out today and then putting them together with the glue and putting the gems on them and glittering them up and like I said, now I have to let them dry for 24 hours before I can do anything with them, but that's all right. I can wait 24 hours. So, but other than that, like, how has your day been? Did you get to do anything fun? Like I said, we went out today. It was nice here for a while. I say for a little while. Um, we left about, I'd say it was 10.30-ish, 11-ish. And we went to the thrift store, our comic book store, uh, stopped and checked out one of our favorite restaurants here, then came up through the main street because there's two new like eateries coming in. And we got a menu for one of those um, to see what kind of stuff they have and that they're going to be bringing. And then we come on through home, got everything. This is the funny part. We got everything in the house and just as we got the last item in the house it started to rain. I was like, oh boy, we could not have timed that better. So I was happy that we got it all done and in and out of the way. Because that was kind of, oh my goodness, don't want to get down poured on. So I was supposed to make a meat lift today, but the meat was not ready to loaf. It was still partly frozen. So we had to go for a second option, which was quite all right. Tomorrow, I will be loafing of the meat. So. Because everybody loves mom's meatloaf. So mom's got to get on the ball and make one. Good, you think. Well, usually you know if it's good or not, dear. <laughs> oh. Usually, if it's not good, there's a telltale sign. You'll you'll be moody and it'll be just the end. So there will be a telltale sign if it's not a good day. I think today was pretty amazing here. I mean, we all, I think, had fun going out. I think we had fun, you know, getting in before the rain. Good Lord knows we don't need to be out there stuck in that. And come home and spoiled the little boy some. Gave him a few treats for being so good. Of course, then he bubbled it up this evening because he came into the craft room with us. And my daughter was in here playing the PS3. And I was in here doing the crafting. And he decided to be a little naughty and start chewing things. So he is in bed. Because he's got to learn not to chew everything. But other than that, I mean, you know, we can't expect everything from him. He's going to be, let me see, this is, this is March. He'll be two next month, like two years old. So, I mean, technically he's still a baby. So, but we do want to get him taught, you know, everything isn't his to chew. So, that way he doesn't get in trouble and we can do more we're hoping that since spring is now sprung supposedly we'll be able to get him out and take him for longer walks and let him run a bit and let him play and also as it is but it's always nice when you can play outside have more room to run so keep wishing they would open like a dog park or make a dog park here. We have a, a park for kids, but they don't really want you taking your dogs there. 
Um, I guess I see it because some kids are scared of dogs and it would, you know, bother them. But in that aspect, I do wish they would open a dog park. Um, I also are hoping to maybe do a little gallivanting this summer coming to the next big, big city over. So we'll see how that goes. I heard there was a really interesting thrift store there. Instead of paying by the item, you pay what you get. So we want to see if we can go look at that one. See what kind of things they have. We love thrifting. Thrifting and yard sales and all that stuff. So. But anywho. This was our live for tonight. Making the faux vellum slash cardstock flowers. And pointing my finger. Go ahead and call it a night and get this video done. Um, I ended up leaving a chat unfinished earlier because I had to get. But I want to see how that's going. Um, but I hope whoever's out there watching that you enjoy the flowers. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them as soon as I see them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this done. And thank you all for watching. Thank you for taking the time to spend with me with this. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Of course, I love things like this. And please, guys, pay it forward. You don't know when you might need it. Be nice. It might make someone's day. Stay safe. The world is just gone. It's gone. It's nuts. And please, for God's sake, say a prayer for the Ukraine. There, there's nobody in the world that deserves this. Nobody. I don't care. So let's say a prayer. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for spending some of your evening with me. Bye-bye.